And for the next thing I want to show you, I need a volunteer. Who will help? Uh, OK, come down here. What's your name? Kari. Kari? Kari. Kari. OK, Kari, uh, you take science in school? Yes. Yeah, what kind of science? Chemistry. Chemistry, oh, wonderful. Well, um, we're not going to do a lot of chemistry today. Have you ever had physics? Not yet. Yeah. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, you'll, you'll have a lot of fun when you get to physics. And one of the things I'm sure they'll show you in physics is the thing behind you that we call a Van de Graaff generator. Have you ever heard of that? Oh, you never have. Oh, do you have a treat in store for you? <laughs> Carl, what we'd like you to do is step up on this stool. Let's put it a little bit farther. And put that hand right there and face the audience as best you can uh, with that hand there. OK, don't get too far back there. And I'm going to turn it on. It makes a little bit of noise, so don't let that scare you. Now, what we're doing is charging up this uh, metal dome to about 100,000 volts. And similarly to, to Kara, uh, we're charging her up. And as we charge her up, electric charges accumulate on her body and on, uh, in her hair in various places. Can you sort of shake your head? <laughs> yeah, take the hairpin off if you can, but leave your hand there. That's the important thing. <laughs> shake your head. But leave your hand there. Huh? Don't you ever comb your hair? <laughs> Now, don't move your hand. I'm going to turn it off. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> now, we could safely do that because she was standing on this plastic stool. And you may not realize, but it's not the very high voltage that is potentially injurious to you, but it's the electric current passing through your body. And to be sure, the more voltage, the more current you're likely to have. But by having her on an insulated platform, there was no path for the electric current to go uh, through, uh, through to anywhere. But uh, we did charge her up to a very high voltage. And her hair also was charged up. And those electric charges repelled one another and tried to get as far apart as they could.